set tool is. So we built this um, terminology server. We, we previously used other terminology servers, but we realized that you know, as it's such a key part of Snow you know, it's it's really the thing that we recommend everybody, uh, most people use is a terminology server to distribute and make terminology, any terminology, not just Snow CT, available, because it means for implementers, they're not having to work out what is the data model of RF2, how do I work that in, how do I get the databases? It just means they have to make calls over um, our API or over fire. Um, so we built this terminology server to kind of support this strategy and this roadmap. Um, it's pretty easy to install and run. As you can see in the chat window, there's a YouTube video um, that's, that's I'm going to watch afterwards as well. So that's going to be uh, uh, useful to, to follow. Um, instructions are also on the GitHub repository. Um, it, it's, it's compliant. It runs our query language. It also supports fire terminology services. So if you want to you know, run a fire terminology service with Snowmed, then this one will do it. Um, one of the interesting things about Snowstorm um, for the technical ones there around, it, has, it doesn't have a database, it uses Elasticsearch. So it uses more um, powerful uh, searching term technologies, um, which means uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit more scalable in, a, in an enterprise environment. It's built using Java for those who want to do it. And as I said, it's an open source um, platform. So anybody can go to that GitHub repository, load it, uh, download and run it. Um, it's, it's very easy to do. And especially if you use Docker, then it's extremely easy to use. Um, so uh, uh, it's worth doing. But one, just two things we always try to make clear that whilst we use Snowstorm and we regularly update it and we keep on improving it, it is not commercially supported by us. So it's an open source application. Um, we very much try to follow the philosophy of open source in that people ask us questions on GitHub and we answer and some people make some improvements and we include those in the application. So it's very much an open source application that we support, but we don't commercially support it. Um, and the other one that's very important, especially at an NRC level, is that it only supports Snowman CT. So it doesn't support ICD or LOINC. It, it may well do in the future, but for now that's not the case. So whilst it will definitely help you from a Snowman point of view, it might not help you from other terminologies. There's a wider question about how do you deploy terminology servers at an NRC or a national level. And that's a future discussion where um, we are happy to, uh, you know, I think the implementation team at Snowmed will be happy to um, help on that. But the, the short summary is, you know, there are multiple ways to do this. One is you have, uh, uh, you know, terminology servers that are specialists in each terminology is behind a single gateway, or you have a single terminology server that does everything. All, all of those strategies work they're just different strategies. And obviously you need, to work, so you need to see what's best for you. But in the meantime, to have a terminology server running SnowMed, then you know, Snowstorm is a very quick way to get going and, and start using um, you know, Fire in SnowMed, but also just do a bit more with the Snowstorm APIs. Um, and the thing that we do um, on the developer training day is very much what the the you know the video about deploying Snowstorm would say. We taught people how to deploy Snowstorm, how to run it, and how to upload Snowmed, and how to upgrade Snowmed when there's a new version of Snowmed each time. So it's a good course. If you're interested, as I said, please do uh, let Liara know. So going back to the, the final tool I'm going to walk you through is the reference set and translation tool. And oh, sorry, the question. Yeah, missed the question. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Rory. I, I, I just have a, a, a quick question about Snowstorm. Uh, let's say that we have Snowstorm deployed in five server or six or 10 server. Uh, is there a way that we can synchronize the content of all of these server to be the same? Uh, um, I think it depends on the server. <laughs> I think really on the, on the other servers you're synchronizing with. So <coughs> one thing we're looking to build in this year is the ability to synchronize multiple terminology services and not just Snowstorm, but we're working with other suppliers. Like I'm sure you, you may have heard of Onto Server um, and looking to see, can we, can we create a, a standard to synchronize SnowMed between different terminology services? So that's something that we are definitely working on this year. Um, so that will be coming, yes. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I heard about the uh... Onto server, they always say that they can synchronize all the server in the countries, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's and their strategy. It's a, it's a it's a really interesting strategy. So what we want to do, and 
the way that Onto Server does it is very powerful, um, but it's also proprietary to Onto Server. So what we want to do is working with that team and other terminology server providers is let's find a standard so that then everybody, so you you could run Snowstorm, I could run Onto Server, somebody could run you know, Snow Owl, but they all can synchronize with each other. I think it's a really powerful place to be. Um, and so that's what we're going to try and get done this year. That's that's what that's what the hope is. So watch this space. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Um, well, yeah. Lolly. Yes. Hello. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, just to inform that we also have a collaboration with the uh, Onto server, CCRO, cool. about this. And we learn this also. And one of our decision is that uh, how we're going to implement the terminology server in yeah. the fire, uh, uh, HL7 fire yeah. environment. And uh, and we say that we, we are going to offering our extension also, that, yeah. that, that one of the big... <laughs> big decision way that how we're going to go uh, and uh, maybe next time I have to consult you or uh, ask you about this uh, and how, how we're going to should be uh, lay out all the architects, the, 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 the way that we yeah. serve all the countries over. Yeah, ab absolutely. I think it's, the, you know, it's, a, it's a very good point. And, you know, the, the, the CSIRO team are experts and, you know, they, they, they know what they're doing and, and they'll give you some great advice. I think where, where we come from, obviously, we, we are commercially neutral. We, we don't choose providers and we do our best. We, we, re we don't really recommend, but we know who knows things, basically. And so what we do with Snowstorm, at least from a SNOMED point of view, is that if there are um, organizations in the environment that also... Uh, that don't necessarily maybe want to, let's say, pay for Onto Server, then they could run Snowstorm. And if we can create a standard to synchronize, then it would synchronize with Onto Server at the top. So I think this is where we're trying to get to. Um, and, and Snowstorm supports the same fire terminology services that, that Onto Server does for SNOMED, no, not for anything else. Um, so when you're working in a SNOMED only environment, then Snowstorm is a really quick way of getting going. And I think that's our approach is, you know, if you had a team that wanted to serve Snowmod today, I would say go to Snowstorm and you'll be running in about two hours and, and you've got Snowmod available to you. It's that quick um, and you haven't got to worry about buying things or contracts or speaking. So it's a quick way of getting going. Is you know, Onto Server is a fully fledged enterprise level national terminology server that does an excellent job. Um, and that's not the use case that Snowstorm was built for. Um, so I think they're, they're stepping stones. So I would always recommend people start here because it's quick they can use fire terminology services immediately and when the decision and when you start to really roll out that national architecture of terminology standards and snowman then you start to step into what's the enterprise how does that work with our other standards that we use and what's our recommendations so um yeah we're happy to have those discussions we have these with with every member everybody asks very similar questions there's no i mean this is like any software technology project healthcare there's no single answer there's lots of different answers and it, we just find out the, the best one that works for, for you really so um we're happy to help where we can on that one